Police have made a breakthrough in the investigation into a fire that caused $20 million in damage to the Liverpool Council Chambers seven years ago, revealing that it may have been triggered by someone angry about a minor, council-issued fine. The Hoxtow Park Road building was destroyed just after midnight on August 15, 2010, after one or more persons broke into the building and set it alight using Accelerat. Historic items were lost including Merrill robes and a picture of former Labour Party leader Mark Latham as mayor, and more than 3,000 files were damaged including 600 hard copy files that had not been backed up and were completely lost. Conspiracy theories swirled about who might have been responsible and that it may have been deliberately lit because of contentious local issues. However, police revealed on Wednesday that they had received new information about a possible motive. Detectives have been told the fire may have been lit following a dispute over a council-issued fine, Property Crime Squad Commander, Detective Superintendent Murray Chapman, said. We are continuing to analyze relevant records and data from around that time, but investigators believe there are people who have knowledge of the dispute but might not realize the connection to the fire. Given the extensive damage caused by the fire, we also believe there was more than one person inside the chambers that night, and likely there are others who know more than they've told police. He has urged people with information to come forward before police come knocking on their door. The breakthrough suggests that something seemingly far more minor was behind the catastrophic fire. At the time, politicians speculated that any one of several contentious local issues could be the catalyst. The council was in the midst of a heated fight against a residents' action group in the Land and Environment Court over a decision to approve plans for an Islamic school at Hoxtow Park. The council had also organized a public rally to protest against the federal government's proposal for an intermodal freight hub in Moorabak, which threatened to add hundreds of trucks to the area's congested roads. There was bitter internal fighting between Labour and non-Labour councillors and the general manager had resigned following a dispute with three councillors over long service leave entitlements. Strike Force Gideon was established by detectives from the Property Crime Squad's arson unit to investigate the circumstances surrounding the fire. No one has been arrested.